Hey, welcome back all you beautiful bulletproof handy men and women. I'm gonna go over an old favorite today and that's going to be a nice short list of our most profitable jobs. And I've done some of these before. Some of the jobs on this list may be the same, some may be different, but I just wanted to rehash this one because it's been a topic of discussion lately on the channel. So we're gonna start right off the bat. We'll just go straight into number one and that is going to be all of our fast jobs with high trip fees. And by high trip fee, I'm only talking about the normal $125 trip fee that I have for all my trips. Some of you might be at 100, some of you might be at 80, some of you might be at 300, you never know. But these tiny little jobs where you're charging your trip fee, those are usually the most profitable jobs. And these might be just smoke detector battery changes, it might be a quick leaky sink, it might be just putting a screen back on a window on the second story that's fallen off. You just pop your ladder out, get up the ladder, put the screen on. Any numbers of these jobs that take you like 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes at the most, especially if you don't need inventory or if you just already have the inventory and you're charging that $125 trip fee, clearly very profitable. Next is one of my all-time favorites, and that is fascia replacement. I don't know why, but there just are not very many handymen who replace fascia, and the carpenters who do are usually busy framing new houses and making a lot more money doing other stuff. So for me, when I do fascia replacement, the minimum I'm ever, ever, ever gonna charge is probably about 400 or 450. That's gonna be for a tiny little piece of fascia replacement, and that's gonna be for a job that it's gonna take me maybe an hour and a half, two hours at the most. And again, honestly, that's just the minimum. I might charge 550 or 600 even for that short little piece. And then all the way up to, let's say you're doing a six foot piece of fascia replacement. Honestly, it doesn't take much longer. And generally what I'm gonna do for anything, let's say three feet and over, maybe four feet and over, I'm typically just gonna give a price somewhere in the $900 range. So 950, 985, 935, over 900 bucks. My materials are always going to be less than 100 bucks because we're not including any paint matching and stuff on here. So for that fascia replacement, we're probably looking at like $900 that's gonna be in my pocket at the end of the day. And even for a four or five, six foot section, that's still probably only gonna be about six hours of work. And like I said, it's just, it's one of those jobs that nobody else does. So I tend to get all of them when they do come up for my property managers. They're exterior, so I don't have to schedule. I don't have to worry about the tenant schedule. I can just show up with some raw lumber and a handful of tools and just knock that out in like four to six hours most days and get paid and go. Another one of my all time favorites in terms of profitability is going to be window glass replacement. And to these I'm referring specifically to those old wooden sash style windows. There just aren't a lot of people, again, similar to the fascia, there aren't a lot of people with the skill to do this or the confidence to do this job. The truth is, is it's very, very, very easy. And typically all you end up doing is removing a little bit of trim around that old window, maybe scraping some paint too, but removing the trim, getting a new piece of glass cut and put in there, putting the trim back, getting it all sealed back up. Super easy job again, but because nobody does these, you know, I feel like I've charged as little as 300 or 350 for some teeny tiny, you know, like 12 inches tall by 16 inches wide, like laundry room windows. I've charged maybe as little as 300 or 350 for those, but for the larger ones, I'm typically charging somewhere in the 450 to $650 range. And once again, this is a job typically that can get done from the exterior of the house, so you don't need to schedule very little in materials, basically just the cost of the glass. And the job itself shouldn't take you, even including procuring materials time, the job itself should not take you more than, let's say, three hours, maybe four at the most. So very, very profitable job, up to $200 an hour, doing something that nobody else tends to do and that you generally don't need to schedule with the tenant. Another favorite on my list is gonna be electrical troubleshooting, and this is usually a very profitable job because an electrician is almost always gonna have a minimum of a $200 trip fee just to get out there and do any troubleshooting whatsoever. And they're usually gonna go over that as well, and it's not gonna cover the repair. So when I get an electrical troubleshooting job, most of the time I can figure out what's wrong just by plugging in my little outlet tester and maybe by pulling a couple outlets out of the wall and checking out the wiring on the back to make sure the wiring's not loose. And of course, checking the circuit breaker panel and checking all of the GFCI outlets around the house to make sure one of them isn't popped. Sometimes that's literally all it is. So 
if it's a GFCI, I'm probably still charging like 165 and that's, that's five minutes to find that outlet and reset it. Or if I've had to do some actual troubleshooting and some actual repair, I'm going to be charging 185, maybe up to 200 for that. And again, guys, most of the time, these electrical troubleshooting jobs, when you go in, you're going to be able to stick your tester in a couple outlets and find the problem almost right away. And if you don't find it right away, you're going to be able to pull a few outlets. And let's say within a half hour, you're generally going to have found the problem. It's generally going to be some kind of loose wiring that you can tighten back up. Worst case scenario, you're going to actually replace an outlet or a switch, you know, for a light fixture or whatever. But these electrical troubleshooting jobs, they're typically a half hour or less for the troubleshooting portion. You're going to charge 185, maybe 200 for the troubleshooting, plus additional for the actual repair itself. So very lucrative job and it makes your property managers or whatever clients you have, it makes them appreciate you just a little bit more because they didn't have to bring an electrician out. Because like I said, even if we're charging close to $200, close to that trip fee, that electrician is just, he's always going to be $100, $150, $200 more than you're going to be, even when you're charging a lot. And a really common job that is absolutely super profitable that we get all the time, guys, is toilet replacements. And look, we do toilet replacements for $350, flat fee. The toilet itself, we pick out. And it's about a $100 toilet usually, which means we're making $250 to replace that toilet. And for some reason, we just keep getting tons of them. And honestly, the only reason we've cut our pricing off at $350 is to make it easier for our property managers to approve them because typically they need to get permission from the homeowner to exceed $350. We could be charging $400 or $450 for these very, very, very easily. And I don't think we would get any fewer of them it would just take a little longer and the property manager would have to jump through more hoops to get that approval. But these toilets are very quick jobs, easily less than an hour from beginning to end, less than an hour every single time for at least a couple hundred dollars profit. And yet another super profitable, super fast handyman job is gonna be nice little fist-sized holes in the drywall. All these tiny little drywall patches. There's something like 30 minutes maybe to get the actual patch in and then give yourself another hour to do the skim and the texture. Now, a little caveat, of course, this is all using hot mud. If you're not using hot mud, you are never going to be this fast and you're never going to be this profitable. But once you put the time and energy required into getting really efficient with hot mud, you can get these little fist size patches done easily in about an hour and a half at most, complete, done, in and out the door, even with a coat of paint on it, if there's matching paint available on site. And if there's not matching paint, well, that's just additional revenue that you're going to get to charge for because now you need to do custom paint matches as well. But we're looking at about $300 for the labor, maybe even up to $350 for the labor for these medium-sized drywall patches. And again, you can get them done in about an hour to an hour and a half. So again, super profitable job. I love some drywall patches. And then finally, I think my specialty is these kitchen cabinet bottom replacements. I've done a couple videos on these. I think they're great videos. It's a super profitable job. I'm pretty certain I get all of these from all of my clients. This is a job that I do quite frequently throughout the year that I have a great process for. It's about $50 worth of materials and it's about $200 worth of labor. And guys, when you get this process down, it is a half hour job. It's 30 minutes from the time you walk in that front door to the time you're packing up your tools and leaving, you're talking about a half hour, 40 minutes at the most to replace a cabinet bottom with the exact same process every time, $200 labor. Again, you're really appreciated when you can do it, especially if you're working for property managers because they've had so many handymen come in and hack this job and just kind of put something stupid on top of all the old stuff and the something stupid doesn't even look good or work good. So get this process down. This is a super profitable job. And also, by the way, if you guys want, please drop in your most profitable jobs in the comments so that next time I make a video like this, I'm going to try to do a couple dozen of the most profitable jobs and I'm going to see if I can get them from most profitable to least profitable. So I love you guys. I hope you're out there killing it and I'll see you on the next one.